everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hello. My name is Carrie Rad, and if you've been here before, welcome on back. I am inspired to talk to you guys about growing food right now as I stand here in an apple orchard in Hawke's Bay, New Zealand. These seven reasons to start a vegetable garden right now are things that I think about all the time, and I just kind of wanted to narrow them down for you guys. And hopefully this will give you guys some inspiration or some ideas and reasons why it makes sense for you to start a vegetable garden. Because maybe you're thinking about it and it's something that you are looking to do, or maybe you're already doing it and maybe these seven reasons if you're thinking about growing a vegetable garden will help kind of get you over that hump and help give you that motivation to get it going I want to start off with a big one and this is one that I didn't realize when I first started and I realize now and I'm so happy that I started a vegetable garden because of this reason and that is learning so much more about the food process. When you start a vegetable garden, you start with a seed or you start with a sprout and you watch that vegetable evolve over time. It grows and then you have this plant and you're watching the way that it becomes your food and there are so many different things that you can do with an entire plant when you are dealing with the vegetable and there's so much that you learn along the way like I didn't really know that most vegetables start off as a flower and that was something that really opened up my eyes to realizing that I didn't know much about where my food was coming from the beauty of growing your own food, you come to realize how incredible it is that we're able to grow our own food that gives us nutrients as human beings and helps us keep on living. And the more you start to handle your vegetables and work in your garden, the more you start really having so much gratitude for the process of growing and then consuming your food. Starting a vegetable garden will give you a newfound respect for the process of growing food because it's not something that's just overnight. It takes patience and time and work to grow these vegetables and when you go to harvest your first harvest or any harvest, honestly, it's not even just the first one. Anytime I harvest my veggies and I bring them into my kitchen, I have this newfound gratitude for the fact that I was able to grow my own food to feed myself and my husband husband and my future family. Whatever, whenever that day will come, that will be even extra special, an extra special layer for me. So any of you like moms or dads out there who are interested in gardening, I'm sure it will feel so great to be able to put food down on the table for their kids when they know that it was their own two hands that created that food and they know what's in it and how it was grown. Speaking of knowing where it comes from, my second reason for starting your own vegetable garden is you can grow your food without the nasty chemicals that might be at many of your grocery stores. Yes, you can go into the organic section at your grocery store, but sometimes organic isn't even completely clear. I think that there are a lot of different layers to pesticides, to chemicals, to different things that these companies use to one, keep pests out of their vegetables, but also that's a cow, <laughs> there's a cow nearby. <laughs> if you're growing your own food, you know that you can take a step back, think about, okay, I wanna start off with organic soil, organic compost, and I don't wanna use any pesticides. And you can absolutely grow a thriving, beautiful garden without having to use any pesticides at all. There will always be pests in your vegetable garden. I don't know if there's ever been a completely pest-free veggie garden that exists that doesn't have so many chemicals. And that's just part of the process. That's the natural way that things go about. But there are things that you can do to avoid it. Um, and you'll learn that as you go along. But when we're talking about a reason why, you knowing that you didn't use any of those chemicals for your own health and for the people that are eating the food that you create in your kitchen's health, it's really nice to know that it's chemical free and natural the way it's supposed to be. Reason number three is a very practical one, but it's an important one. That is that you save money when you start your own vegetable garden. Yes, there might be some upfront costs. And those of you who watched my how to build a vegetable garden video that I posted about a year ago knows that, you know, I had to go into the store and get all of these things and pay for them upfront. But 
what's beautiful about that process is one, there's lots of different ways you can go about it. So yes, when we were living in Los Angeles, we went into Home Depot and we got everything that we needed to do to start our vegetable garden originally. We went in as brand new gardeners. We knew nothing about how to create our own garden bed, but we did some research and we found something that worked for us at the time. Here in New Zealand, we are staying at a family batch right now and we were like, we have to have a vegetable garden here. We have to create something mini that's easy to take care of, but that we are growing some veggies that we can use in our meals and that the family that comes to stay at the family batch can use it as well. And so we used some wood that was left at the property. So that didn't cost us any really upfront costs besides the sprouts that we planted. What's really beautiful about the process after you put those initial costs down, which aren't huge depending on how big of a vegetable garden you wanna grow. In Los Angeles, we did almost our entire backyard, so that ended up costing us a bit more upfront. Once you plant your vegetable garden, it's just going to continue to give. There are specific vegetables that will just continue all year long. There are obviously just then some that last a season, but things like kale and cabbage can continue to produce for you. And either way, when you have a vegetable garden, you will find yourself going to the grocery store a lot less. Or maybe when you're going to the grocery store, you're just buying things like sugar or you know flour or things that you need to create things at home like that. But when it comes to your veggies, you're gonna find yourself in a position where you're like, wow, I don't have to add tomatoes to my grocery list. I don't have to add lettuce. I don't have to add kale. I don't have to add cucumbers. I don't have to add eggplant. And you'll find yourself really experimenting with what's growing in your garden. That's one thing that I guess I didn't add to these reasons, but I'll add to this one, is that you, you get inspired to cook so much more. I would go into my veggie garden and say, okay, I have, an abundance of eggplant. Let me figure out some new eggplant recipes. I have an abundance of zucchini. Let me figure out more zucchini recipes. And it really helps to inspire you to create new recipes in your kitchen. But going back to saving money, that is such a beautiful practical reason to start a vegetable garden. My fourth reason and probably my all time favorite reason is that you're giving back to the earth. And what I mean by this is that whenever you're planting any type of plant, you're giving back to the earth, the oxygen, to the soil. You're literally taking dead land and you're making food from it. And to me, that is one of the most magical things about growing food, about growing a garden in general. Even flowers are so important for pollinators, for bees. And we can be really mindful. like permaculture for instance i want to learn more about that because it is the way that you are regenerating the earth and you are making it so all of these plants are working together there's planting native plants which is really smart because then it helps bring in our native bees and our native birds um, to that specific area and you can do this just in a backyard you can plant native things that will help help that area and help that ecosystem around you my next reason is abundance surplus food Especially when you're a beginning gardener, you tend to probably plant too many things. This is very common, I think. I remember I had a viewer send me a picture of her new garden and she had like just so many zucchini plants right next to each other. And I totally understood why she did that because that's why that's what I did when I first started. Zucchini, it grows like crazy. It gets really big and it takes over the garden and it gives you so many zucchinis, which is awesome but you probably don't need as many plants as you think. But what that means is you just have an abundance of organic veggies that you can give to your friends and family and your community, your neighbors. Organic produce is really expensive at the grocery store and Alex and I felt so proud of the fact that we built our vegetable garden a year before COVID happened. And then during COVID we had an abundance of veggies and we were able to gift our friends and family and neighbors organic produce, which a lot of people didn't even want to go to the grocery store during the height of COVID in LA. And we had our backyard urban garden that was thriving. And not only was that great for us, but it was great for our community. My next reason is a more emotional reason, but uh, it's a very good reason to start a vegetable garden. And it is that it is extremely therapeutic and it does help to relieve stress. 
And I'm gonna pair my last reason in with that and that is that it helps teach patience and confidence and respect. And I think those go hand in hand together because when you are building your confidence by starting a vegetable garden, and of course there are hard times in growing a vegetable garden. There are things that are not going to go right, plants that will die, you might have to start all back over again in a new season. But that does teach confidence because practice is what makes us good at something. And we're not going to be great at something right off the bat. But we do learn and learning helps build our confidence. And so the more that you garden, the more your confidence will build because you'll learn things. And then once you do have this gorgeous fruit that you pick off, the feeling that you have, you, you're proud of yourself and you're proud of the people that you're gardening with for like being able to achieve this. So with that, it helps reduce your stress, which is the therapeutic element of this. One of my favorite things about gardening is just going out into my garden and, and sitting there and, and looking at it and hearing the birds and thinking about the process of growing food. And when you're in there, you're not thinking about anything. You can't multitask when you're gardening, meaning like you can't be scrolling your phone when you have gloves on and you're in your dirt and you're planting something. And this day and age, we're so connected to technology. I mean, I have a huge camera I'm looking at right now while I'm talking to you guys. I have my phone in my hand because I'm looking at my notes that I created for this video. After I shoot this, I'm gonna go to my computer and I'm going to edit it. Um, so technology surrounds us at all times. And this is one reason why I love gardening so much because I can let go. There is nothing like feeling the sunshine on your face, having dirt on your hands, and just really realizing that not only is this earth nature and the plants that we are planting nature, but we are nature itself and we are connected to it. And we need that nature to survive. It's harmonious life that we have with our earth and with our plants. And it's just really special. And once you really allow yourself to experience that it's just a very therapeutic process and it's something that i really love let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this one by giving it a thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any new videos from me i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if anything that it just made you feel relaxed to be out here in the apple orchard with me talking about nature and food and growing and vegetable gardens. I love you guys and I always appreciate your support and the time that you spend watching my videos and I will see you very soon in a new one. I'm sending my love to you. Bye!